I don't know who needs to hear this today, but creativity is hard. If you've chosen the creative path, it means that when you all came to a crossroads, almost everybody turned right, but you decided to turn left. And what you found there was a very fucking narrow gate. And beyond that gate, a road filled with obstacles, none of which you were expecting, but you carried on regardless. Think about what it is that you do. Creativity is intangible. You can't touch it, you can't feel it, you can't see it. You hope that a thought will fall from the sky into your brain and at the point that it does, that you'll be in a position to be able to take that thing and mold it into something that exists in the physical world but wasn't there before. You're basically a fucking wizard or witch. Do not fall into the trap set by people on the internet who promise you that there is a formula for what you do, who guarantee you a step-by-step -step guide to success because none of those guides, none of those formulas take into account the happy accidents that happen when you sit down and do the work. Every musician worth their salt sat in a room at some point on their own writing a song that nobody had heard and nobody clapped for. Every comedian stood in a room above a pub in the arse end of nowhere telling jokes that nobody laughed at. Every artist has a bin full of screwed up pieces of paper with art on that they didn't think was good enough for you to see. Every person that turned right on that path at some point has sat down and looked at a piece of art or a piece of creativity and said, I could have done that, but they didn't. You did. You're the one that chose this life. And I'm warning you now, it doesn't get easier. You are always gonna be at the wheel of something that you can't touch or grasp or hold. And the harder you try to hold onto it, the more it's gonna slip through your fingers. You're always gonna have to have faith that the universe will deliver the next idea to you. But I promise you, if you sit down and do the work, the ideas will keep coming. There is no lack of ideas available. There is an abundance of creative thought available to everyone in the world and you just have to reach out and grasp it. And sometimes you are gonna create shit. You're gonna create things that you are ashamed of. You're gonna create things that you're not proud of, but you are still creating. If 10 people see it, 20 people, 30 people, 40 people, 50 people, a million people, it makes it no less or no more valuable. You are simply creating and moving on. There will be people who watch this video and question how someone with so few views and so few subscribers can talk so strongly about their opinions on success within the creative field. And to those people, I would say, thank you. This video is not for you. In fact, to everyone watching this, this video is not for you. This video is for me. Everything that I say in here are things that I want to remind myself of. If you get something from this, then I'm so happy for you but really it doesn't matter to me because these are just things that I need to hear. So next time you're struggling to feel creative, remember that you're not dealing with something that's physical or tangible or logical. You are just hoping that you will be able to pluck something out of the air and it will turn into something. So just create anything, put it out into the world and it will do the work that it needs to do. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you on the next one.